All right, what is going on everybody? Today we're gonna to cover the quote unquote meta attachments for the SMGs and sidearms today. Up here are the stats that I've had since beta. I've been playing this game since pretty much day one. So uh, you can see up here, that's kind of what I'm gonna tell you guys. It would hopefully give you guys some credibility to what I'm saying. Or if you disagree with what I run on my weapons, you can let me know and we can, you know, I'm always down for a conversation with that. But jumping into it, looking at the sidearms first. So for these are, kind of what I run for everything. I'm gonna just kind of leave this up as I talk about some quick things and then we'll move on and so on and so forth. But this is really it for the Glock. Um, I don't really change much with this. I've been told to use the Warhawk comp instead, but I'll test that later off stream. Other than that, this is kind of the go-to. If you don't have the drum mag yet, can this the extended mag is just as good. You're gonna reload a little more often it's quicker the only benefit to this compared to the drum mag is this has two and more in reserve drum mag you only get one in reserve that's really the only difference for the mp28 this is what i run on this <clears throat> and then for the magnum again i really don't recommend using this unless you want to hit those really kind of cool snipes with it um, but there's really nothing for it outside of the scopes, right? So it goes all the way to a 4X. So, I mean, outside of this, it's either irons or preference on the, the sights. That's really it, uh, all there is to this. P51, I haven't used this thing since they nerfed it into the ground. But this is what I run on it. Uh, if you're on controller, I believe Warhawk Comp does better than the Champion Muzzle Break, from what I've told. But I don't really run this anymore. But yeah, the NVK, which is basically your MP28 on crack because it's a two-tap burst weapon, right? It shoots two every time you pull the trigger. Uh, this is what I do run on this, and I do actually see some viability on the Warhawk comp with it. And as we're going through with everything, if I say something too quick or it's not, like, um, makes sense... You can just pause it and then look at my attachments. Again, for this, there's really nothing for it. I honestly don't know why I don't have the skin. I was like, I do have this tier one, but um, there's nothing really for that either. So this guy, I wish the Fusion Hollow was better for every anybody who's used this has can kind of see what I'm talking about with the red dot. It's It takes up a lot of the, the back sight. So it, it's hard to hit precision shots with it. That's why I'm using the DD Hollow. So unless they change that, I'm not going to switch back. And I'm a little disappointed that they didn't put a uh, barrel attachments for this. I would have loved to put a suppressor on it, but well. And then just from experience, the visual recoil is pretty bad on this for both of these. So I don't really see a benefit to dropping my damage range by getting one extra round in the mag. So that's just me. And then for portal attachments, there's nothing really for portal attachments yet. So until we kind of get those either in the next big patch or the one after that i'm expecting to see either the smgs get attachments with the sidearms or the lmgs so we're still waiting on those for the lmgs the smgs and the, and the sidearms but we've gotten the dmrs and the snipers and the ars have attachments so these are the guys that are waiting for the all at warfare attachments so, I mean, you can see there's really nothing for them. I can't even, like, talk about them or whatnot. There's nothing there for them yet. Anywho, moving over to the SMGs. You've got... Clo the reason that I'm running close combat over the standard extended, because this technically gives you some more ammo in the mag, this actually has a further four bullet to kill range than the standard runs. But the standard rounds do give you a further out five bullet to kill range and a little bit more in the mag and the recoil is not too bad. But if you just want a laser beam and be able to shoot people with four bullets and down them, then this is the way to go. And the reload is pretty quick. They did buff the reload speed on this a long time ago. I don't know if you guys were around for that, but the PBX reload speed was pretty brutal back then. So uh, Bison, there's really nothing to touch on. I only run the standard rounds and then between these two, that's it. Uh, again, controller benefits from the Warhawk comp. Uh, that's just what I'm told from my buddies who play on controller. 
So for those who are on controller, if you're struggling with recoil, you can either use the champion or give the Warhawk a comp. A go. So, but for me on mouse and keyboard, I don't really see the benefit on most weapons with the Warhawk comp. It could be placebo. It could just be that I run a high sense. I don't. I don't know. But for me personally, I don't really see a whole lot of benefit for it. MP9, same thing. And you'll kind of notice a theme for all of my weapons I run for all of them. This includes ARs, LMGs, and, and whatnot. I'm only using laser sights to help with hip fire because I play aggressive and there are a lot of engagements at times where I just don't want to ADS because my sensitivity is so fast that if I overcorrect, I'm just going to totally miss the target. So it's easier for me to track in the hip fire, and that's why I use the laser. Um, again, same thing between the two. The close combat extended mag is better for me than the drum mag uh, because of one reload speed and you only get one of these in reserve. You get three of these in reserve. So not a whole lot of difference between the two. This does give you like 10 more rounds to play with, but meh. And the 125 thermal actually changes with this skin. It's kind of cool. I don't like a lot of the visual that gets eaten up on the top of it. You can see that rail up there. It's almost like you could add another optic to that, but it's just taking up a lot of visual space. So uh, there, there's very few times where I use thermal optics anymore as is anyways, but it looks neat. It's just a lot of nonsense in the way. That's why I don't run it. Um, K30. Um, if you guys didn't play in season one, you can't, I don't think you can get this skin. It's the only one that changes the Fusion Hollow sight. You can see that it's got a kind of almost holographic front sight, and it makes the red dot extremely small. So this is almost kind of like a pay-to-win thing. But if it's there, cool. If not, I'm not really sure how to get it again. But again, the theme. If you don't like lasers and you like more accuracy, it's between these two. But if you're more of a run and gun player, the LWG is going to be the meta attachment if you're not using lasers for hip fire. Okay. This is more if you're static. This is like if you're a DMR player, BCG is good if you're not moving as much. But if you're always running and gunning and using like AD strafing, or if you're toggling back and forth like left, right on your left analog stick when you're trying to strafe fight. This is going to proc every single time you do that. So LWG is going to be better for you over the BCG. And the BCG is going to be better if you like to be a stationary player. The AC9, kind of same same thing. I, I, don't even, I don't even think I put the BCG in here because I don't care. But uh, this has zero recoil, honestly. This is kind of, this was almost like a pre-nerf K30 when it first came out. They did tone down the damage a little bit. But... Uh, Again, this is what I run for it. You could, again, put the Warhawk comp on it. But there's zero recoil for me to really manage anyways, as is. So, And then for the portal weapons, again, these three guys uh, sadly just don't have a lot of attachments to work with. You either got a flash out or a suppressor. And the, the downfall to the portal suppressors is they drop damage significantly. So I don't run suppressors on them because it's just, it's just bad. So, and you only get a flashlight and laser, which is fine. But I mean, there's no barrel attachment. Something to really help with recoil here. So it's just kind of a pain. Now the P90 overall is pretty decent. I think this will be way better once it gets actual attachments for it. Same thing goes for the AKS and the P2K. I, I really think the AKS and the P2K are going to jump up in, in the tier list when I make the next one for season six once these actually have attachments worth using um because again just the, the suppressor is just awful there's no reason to use the suppressor it, it, it drops your effective damage significantly for all three of them so and then looking at the p2k i'm interested to see if they're going to increase the extended mag capacity because you only get a 20 and a 45 so there's no 30 right the aks only has a 30 and obviously the p90 has the 50 round right the staple mag i don't think that's going to get an extended mag for it i don't see how that could work and it doesn't really need it but there is speculation we were talking about this last night it's like yeah let's give the p2k a 60 round drum mag that that sounds absurd but we'll see what happens um 
it, it already has a very good four bullet to kill range on it. So giving this another 15 rounds to me seems a, a little bit overkill. But I'm curious. We'll see. I don't know if they could give this a laser attachment or a grip attachment because you can kind of tell it already has like a grip to it. So I don't think they're going to give a grip to this. I think they're just going to give barrel attachments and better optics, right? I think that's what's going to happen with this guy. So but that's it for the SMGs and the sidearms. They're pretty quick and right to the point. Uh, if I miss something or, again, if you're there's a different kind of meta or attachments you guys run on these guys, let me know. Uh, it's not a whole lot different from mouse and keyboard to controller. Like I said, most uh, controller players that I talk to run Warhawk Comp instead of Factory Barrel or Champion Muzzle Break. So until the next one, guys, I will catch you in the next one. See ya! Let's <laughs> go.